Hello, very good morning. I am Professor Sunil Khare from Indian Institute of Technology, Delhi. Uh, we are working on this EPG part sala of UGC for the subject biochemistry. Under this subject, today's paper is structure and function of biomolecule 2. In this paper, we will mainly cover DNA, RNA, their structure and function and other related biochemistry. Uh, under the paper structure and function of biomolecule 2, this module is going to deal with DNA. The objectives of this module will be discovery of DNA, structure of DNA, salient feature of DNA double helix, helix geometrics and structure and function of DNA. This slide shows you the concept map of the whole concept. Here you can see DNA as a molecule and its discovery as one facet, DNA structure as another facet, feature of double helix another facet, helix geometry another facet and structure and function in DNA. Under the discovery, we will see the contribution of various esteemed scientists which led to discovery of DNA. Under the DNA structure and double helix, we will see the contribution of Watson and Crick which led to the double helix as we know today. In the helix geometry, different type of DNAs will be covered. For instance, a DNA, B DNA, Z DNA and their comparative features. In the structure and function, we will see how DNA dictates the function in the cell. In this slide, what you are going to see is DNA, the full form of DNA is deoxyribonucleic acid. In fact, what is shown in the figure is a typical representation of DNA molecule. DNA in fact is the blueprint for life. It is repository and carrier of genetic information. It plays integral role in development, functioning, physiological functions and reproductive part for a cell. DNA is mainly composed of sugar phosphate backbone as you are seeing in the picture and these two chains of sugar phosphate actually are linked to each other by base pairing. We will see these details in subsequent slides. Now in this slide we are going to tell you about the discovery of DNA. Here you see four esteemed scientists. Francis Crick, James Watson, Morris Wilkins and Rosalind Franklin. The discovery or X-ray picture of DNA recorded by Wilkins and Franklin formed the basis of double helical structure proposed by Watson and Crick. During her research at King's College London, Rosalind Franklin used X-rays to be beamed through crystals of DNA. She simultaneously used a photographic film to record where the scattered X-ray would fall. The shadow on the film would show where the dense molecule lie. Cross-shaped shadows were found on the X-ray films, thereby confirming that the DNA molecule was indeed helical in shape, which is what is shown in figure. The X-ray that resulted from this experiment was named photograph 5-1. Morris shared the image with Watson and Crick. 
more about the discovery of DNA. In 1953, James Watson and Francis Crick proposed a model for a structure of DNA. This proposal was based on the previous assumption of Shargops, which says that there are equal number of A and T bases and G and C bases in DNA. And the observation of photograph 51. Watson and Crick outlined the theory that the DNA molecule is comprised of two complementary polynucleotide strands which wound around each other to form a double helical structure. This result was published in 1953 as a paper entitled a structure of deoxyribose nucleic acid in nature. Watson and Crick were awarded the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine along with Morris for this work. As outlined above, the structure of DNA is represented in form of polynucleotide strands of DNA coiled around each other to form a double helix. You can see that in the figure. The backbone of this helix is formed by sugar phosphate and the basis lies towards the interior of the helix. These are extended at the right angle at 90 degree to the helix axis. The bases remain stacked over each other in the double helix. Now hydrophobic interaction stacked bases lead to stabilization of DNA molecule. Overall, the sugar phosphate backbone of each strand is negatively charged due to phosphate group for which the pK is near to 0. These changes are stabilized by counter ion magnesium. The helical structure of DNA and arrangement of bases within DNA structure is shown in this figure as you can see. Both two dimensional and three dimensional images are provided. To further understand the structure of DNA, let us see that complementary bases from opposite helix pair with each other. That means the purines from base pair with pyrimidines. More specifically, base A pairs with base T and base C pairs with base G as can be seen in the figure. This pairing is known as Watson-Crick base pairing. The hydrogen bonding in the base pairs imparts stability to the helical structure of DNA. The base pair G and C are bonded to each other by three hydrogen bond while A and T are bonded by two hydrogen bonds. Owing to larger number of hydrogen bonds between GC base pairs are stronger than AT base pair. Greater the number of GC base pairs in a DNA molecule, greater will be the stability of that DNA molecules. Any molecules which will have more AT will be less stable as compared to the molecule having more G and C. Now for the feature of double helical structure of DNA, the key features of DNA double helix are discussed subsequently for which you should look into the figure 5. The overall structure of DNA is double helical composed of two polynucleotide strands. One polynucleotide strand coils around the second polynucleotide strand in double helix. This helix 
is right handed. The backbone of each polynucleotide chain is formed by sugar and phosphate and the base lie towards right angle inside the helix. The sugar and phosphate they bind to each other it is called nucleoside. When a base is added to nucleoside it is called nucleotide and many such nucleotide which means polynucleotide form the strand of DNA and two such strands form the helical structure. Um, both DNA strands run anti parallel to each other which means one strand will go 5 prime to 3 prime and the other strand will go 3 prime to 5 prime. The plane in which adjacent base pair as discussed previously are separated by a distance of 3.6 m strong. There are 10 base pairs per turn of helix with a rise of 3.6 m strong. One turn of helix measure 36 m strong. Each turn of double helix contain an average of 25 hydrogen bonds to provide stability to the DNA molecule. The diameter of DNA helix measures 20 m strong. The DNA molecule exhibits conformational flexibility and therefore it can exist in alternative structure forms. There are three conformation of DNA named as ADNA, BDNA and ZDNA as shown in the figure. Under the physiological conditions the BDNA forms the most stable structure and therefore it is considered as a standard reference in any study. It mostly predominates in the cell. The Watson Crick structure is also the B form of DNA. Now we can compare the helix geometrics of DNA. The comparative table is shown wherein you can see that various properties and parameters of three different DNA variants differ from each other. Both A and B DNA are right handed helix, but the A DNA is wider and flatter than B DNA. Earlier it was thought that A DNA could be observed under dehydrating conditions, but further studies proved that dehydration occurs only in vivo. The Z DNA on the other hand is left handed helix and seen when high salt concentration is prevailed. The other possible DNA conformations which have been described in recent studies are cDNA, eDNA, ldNA, pDNA and sDNA. However, most of these forms are seen in different conditions. They are created synthetically but have not been found naturally in the biological system so far. Triple stranded and quadruplex form of DNA are also known. Now the structure and function in the DNA. The DNA is the storehouse of biological information. The two strands of DNA provide a simple mechanism for copying the molecule. Upon separation DNA replication occurs and each strand acts as a template for creating the other strand. Thus two identical daughter molecules are created. Some portion of DNA are non-coding implying that these sections are not engaged in coding of protein structures. 
within nucleus of the cell DNA is organized into chromosomes. During cell division these chromosomes are duplicated in the process of DNA replication providing each daughter cell its own complete set of chromosomes. While eukaryotes store most of the DNA inside the nucleus, some of their DNA is in organelles like mitochondria or chloroplast. Prokaryotes store their DNA only in the cytoplasm. Chromatin proteins, generally the histones, play a key role in compacting and organizing the DNA within the chromosome. To summarize what we have learned so far, the DNA molecules serve as molecular repository of genetic information in living organisms. The background for the discovery of DNA was fortified by several scientific breakthrough made by four scientists namely Morris Wilkins, Rosalind Franklin, Francis Crick and James Watson. The Watson and Crick proposed the three dimensional structure of DNA for the first time in 1953. They outlined the theory that DNA has a double helical structure comprising of two complementary anti parallel polynucleotide strands which move around each other in a rightward direction. The helix is right handed and runs anti parallel. The backbone of the helix is sugar phosphate and the bases in the interior are extended perpendicular to the axis of helix. Complementary bases form opposite helix pair that is G will pair with C and A will pair with T which is what is called Watson Crick base pairing. The plane in which the adjacent base pairs are located are separated by 3.6 m strong. 10 base pairs are found per turn with rise of 3.6 m strong and one turn of helix is 36 m strong. The diameter of DNA helix is 20 m strong. DNA exists in alternative structural forms namely A DNA, B DNA and Z DNA. The B form is most stable structure for a random sequence DNA molecule. About the double helical structure of DNA again, this is indeed one of the most exciting discovery of the science in last century. The structure of DNA given by Watson and Crick actually changed the pathway of the science in biological systems. In essence, the DNA structure is double helix and these helix are comprised of two polynucleotide chains running anti parallel to each other which means if one chain is 5 prime to 3 prime the other will be 3 prime to 5 prime. This chain comprised of sugar and phosphate. Sugar in this case is deoxyribonucleic acid. The base run inside these chains and base pairs with each other. There are four bases in DNA G, C, A and T. G pairs with C with three hydrogen bonds and A pairs with T in two hydrogen bonds. Now both the strands forming helix run right handed along the axis. This is in a sense the structure of DNA. The structure of DNA as you have understood is stabilized by two forces. 
one the base pairing between the bases through hydrogen bonds and the second hydrophobic interaction by the stacking of bases over each other. Now the dimensions of this double helix are fixed. There is rise of 3.6 m strong per base pair and in each turn of helix there are 10 bases. So, there is dimension of 36 m strong per 10 bases or per turn. The diameter of DNA is 20 m strong. These figures or dimensions or the geometry is universal all across the living organisms, be it plant, be it animal, be it microorganism, the dimensions and structure remain same. 